I am Jason Page and I'm a light painter. Light painting is most similar to traditional painting with oils or acrylics, except my medium is light. I don't work on a flat two-dimensional surface. I work out here in a three-dimensional space. This is my light painting canvas. I capture my light painting work through a photographic technique called long exposure photography. I work in the dark. And if I were to just take a quick snapshot of the scene that I'm about to light paint, it would just be dark. So what I do is I actually lock the shutter of the camera open so that it allows the camera to capture all the light painting work that I'm doing, all the colors, all the brush strokes, just as a canvas would capture the, the brush strokes and colors of a traditional painter. I used to be terrified of the dark. I wouldn't walk down a hallway by myself. Like I used to stay at my grandparents when I was younger and they would have to walk me down the hallway, I remember, because I was so scared of the dark. And now I go out in the darkness alone. And I work out in the middle of the woods at night. And instead of finding fear there, I find it a place of inspiration and beauty. I think the most common misconception about my work is that it's Photoshop, but it's not. Everything you see in my images is created in real time, captured to the camera in one single frame, and there's no layering, there's no post-production work to create anything you see in my images. Light painting is the exact opposite of someone like Jerry Yulesman, who believed that the image was created in the darkroom in his post-visualization work. The image is created while the exposure is being taken. The shutter of the camera opens, you go in, you create the image, when the shutter closes, that's the end of it. For as long as I can remember, I've had an interest in photography. It's always been a way for me to escape. And I think that my career really began when I combined my love of photography with my love of surfing, and I started making surf videos. I made four feature-length videos um, before I eventually got burnt out on it. And more importantly than getting burnt out, I really needed to make money and, and surf videos just wasn't paying the bills for me. I kind of put photography aside and, and did what we're all programmed to do. I, I ended up getting a, a soul-sucking real job, started hating life like everybody else. One of the ways I used to de-stress was I would walk out on the beach at night. I'd go for these long walks and um, one night I took my camera with me, it was a full moon night. and. I set up my camera, I was doing long exposures of the ocean, and I accidentally bumped the camera. And when I checked the exposure and I saw that little light streak going across the sky, that was it. It just, it all clicked in my head and it was, it was my epiphany. In that single instant, I knew that I had found something that I had been searching for and something that was going to be extremely significant in my life, you know. At, at that moment, I didn't really understand what I had found or why it was so significant, but I just, I knew it was a huge moment in my life. The, the significance of light painting really became clear to me when I found Dean Chamberlain's work. Dean Chamberlain was really the first one that, that painted with light, and his images reminded me of a dream that I had when I was six years old. It was really the first time that I connected light painting with this dream that I've been chasing since I was a kid. In this dream, I was, I was in a forest, and it was just painted with the most beautiful colors that you could possibly imagine. It was vibrant and just colorful and beautiful, and it was just the most beautiful place I had ever been. And as I was growing up, I would always try to force myself to have that dream again. Like a lot of people out there, I come from a broken home, and my parents split when I was really young, and my mom ended up remarrying a guy that turned out to be abusive and he would beat the shit out of all of us and a lot of times these beatings would come in the middle of the night. You'd wake up and you'd have somebody beating you or you'd have somebody choking you 
and during one of these episodes I had this dream and you know that's how I related to it at the time that's why I still call it a dream to this day is because you know in my six-year-old mind I thought of it as a dream I didn't think of it as you know what it probably realistically was is a near-death experience and I think that I really was probably just you know seeing the light as they say When I woke up, I just remember trying so hard to get back into that dream because in that dream, you know, I was, I was happy. I think that light painting is life's way of giving me an opportunity to get back into that place, that place where I was so happy. And when I'm out here creating my work, out here in nature, I'm happy.